RIP to my Meyer lemon tree. So I'm gonna jump right on into today's topic, my Maya lemon tree. I know I have had several people asking about how my Maya lemon tree has been doing and it is not doing good at all, as you can see. I know I have had two subscribers who've been trying to help me figure out what's going on with the Maya lemon tree and try to help me bring it back to life and wanna give them a shout out, that's the ghost and soil sister they've been trying to help me figure out what's been going on with this and giving me tips to try to bring it back to life but i don't think there's nothing i can do it has done absolutely nothing at all i recently had it in another container and then i transplanted it into this bigger container and when i did i seen some new growth on the roots so i thought it was gonna bounce back but i don't know I'm not sure. I got plenty of drainage holes in this container for it to drain out. It did good last summer. If y'all been following the channel, y'all see I got two lemons off of it. And then winter hit and I was covering it up. And then I noticed that it still wasn't doing good even though I was covering it up at nighttime. So I bought it inside for the rest of the winter and then put it back out, you know, once, it, once the temperature got better and the weather got better but it has not came back. I have no new growth on it, nothing. Time to just go ahead and remove this Meyer lemon tree. Not gonna give up on it yet, but I am taking it out of this container. So I will take it out of this container and I will place it into this one right here just to see if it's gonna bounce back. So I'm gonna go ahead and get this removed. Let y'all take a look at the root system on it and then put it into this new container right here. All right, y'all, so you can see how the roots are looking. Uh, not the best, not the best at all. But I'm gonna go ahead and throw some soil in there and get it transplanted into there and we're just gonna see what it's gonna do. I'm gonna add a little bit of um, perlite to this one here. Then I'm gonna stir this soil up and add some perlite and get some um, citrus soil put in this one. Even though this is all citrus soil, I'm gonna mix it up, stir it up, just in case it was contaminated or something. I mean, I, I have no idea. Not sure what happened to it, but like I said, I'm not gonna give up on it yet. We're gonna go ahead and put it in this container and see what it's gonna do. I think I gotta, yep, I gotta drill some holes in this bottom of this container so it can have some drainage holes. All right, y'all, so I have it transplanted back into this smaller container. I'm not gonna hit it with no fertilizer or nothing because I fertilized it last week and it's still not doing anything. So I'm gonna go ahead and get it watered down and we'll just keep an eye on it. And I'll definitely keep y'all posted on how it turns out. Good morning, how's everybody doing? Hopefully everybody's off to a great productive day. Decided to switch it up and come look at Home Depot today. See what they got, so glance around, see if I can find any fruit trees and just see what they got. All right, y'all, so look what they have. I'm kind of glad I came here. Meyer lemon tree. So if y'all been following me, y'all know my Meyer lemon tree has pretty much died. So I'm definitely gonna buy another one. It's only $30. And they have a lime tree, but we don't really use limes like that. So I am definitely gonna pick out one and replace my Meyer lemon tree. And I'll show y'all how mine look once I get to the house. They even got some Meyer lemon trees right here for $60. But this $30 one to do good. Looking at the prices of these vegetable plants, 
that's why I like to grow from seed because you're paying five dollars for one plant and you can pay two dollars for a pack of seeds but just glancing around maybe I can find something else I can take to the homestead <laughs> All right, y'all, so y'all know I am excited to get home and get this put in the container. Like I said, my other Meyer lemon tree did not make it. And once I get home, I'll show y'all. I tried to bring it back to life, but it's gone. But it's okay, because now I have another one. So I finally made it home with my new plant. And I don't know if it's just me, or do y'all get real excited too when y'all bring a new plant home or a new fruit tree? I do. Be like a kid at Christmas time. But I'm gonna go ahead and get this transplanted into that container where I took the other Meyer lemon tree out of, the one that's not doing too good, which I end up placing in the garden right there. But I'm gonna go ahead and get that soil turned up, get some citrus fruit tree fertilizer, get some perlite in there, Get it all mixed up and get it ready for this one right here. All right, y'all, so we got the Meyer lemon transplanted into the bigger container. This was a healthy looking plant. All the, all the plants actually did look pretty healthy, but I guess that's why it's good to get outside your box because if I would have went to Lowe's, I wouldn't have found it. But when I went to Home Depot, I, I wasn't really going looking for nothing. I just wanted to see what they had and ran across the Meyer lemon, so I'm happy they did. Replace my other one that's not doing too good. But like I said, I would definitely keep y'all updated on how it's doing. But if y'all have any helpful tips to help me take care of this Meyer lemon, because that other one was the very first fruit tree that I had, and I'm still learning about fruit trees, please go down in the comment section and let me know for what I can do or what I'm doing wrong. But as always, thanks for watching, and we'll catch you on the next one.